If you've tested positive for the coronavirus, you're not alone. Hundreds and thousands of people around the world have been affected by COVID-19, and our numbers don't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. You've probably heard a lot of information about the disease, some of which might scare you. While individual cases vary across the spectrum, there are ways to help minimize the effects of the virus on your body and aid in your recovery. As healthcare professionals who specialize in pulmonary rehabilitation, we have the experience needed to help you more effectively manage the symptoms associated with diseases affecting the lungs and similar conditions including coronavirus. First, we focus on education. The more you know about your disease process, how to manage it and decrease risk for exacerbation, the better armed you will be to care for yourself and live your best life. While medications play a vital role in managing disease, a healthy diet including protein and adequate hydration, exercise, the knowledge of how to identify and manage signs and symptoms of a problem, and lifestyle habits are equally important in helping you maintain or increase your independence and activity level. Secondly, we address lung function. There is a saying, if you can't breathe, you can't function. For those of you who are living with a pulmonary disorder or have contracted a viral infection, such as COVID-19, you know this all too well. Our team of nurses and therapists are trained to not only educate you on the most effective way to take your medications for management of your disease, but also in methods to address quality of breath, coordination of breath with activity, and means to decrease breathlessness to improve the quality of your life. By incorporating methods to monitor shortness of breath, such as use of a pulse oximeter, determining your ability to speak with activity, known as the talk test, and identifying how short of breath you feel on the shortness of breath scale, we can help you gradually improve your functional activity tolerance and ultimately your independence. Third, and probably most important, we meet you where you are at in your disease process. Your goals for your health are the building blocks for our care. Whether it be returning to play a round of golf, being able to get down on the floor with your grandchildren, or merely the ability to retrieve your own mail, your goals determine the focus of our education and the care provided. The use of oxygen is often included in the care of those affected by pulmonary viruses or disease. There are multiple exercises you can perform to more effectively realize the benefits of supplemental oxygen or to improve your lung function and eventually wean yourself down or off of it altogether. Maintaining appropriate oxygen levels throughout your body is key to brain function, heart health, and the ability to move without significant fatigue. A key breathing technique to improve oxygen levels is the ability to blow off carbon dioxide that may build up in your lungs. You can do this by focusing on the quality of your breathing blowing air out two to three times longer than you breathe in. Here, let me show you how this is done. Another technique to improve lung function is the ability to take a good deep breath, filling up all areas of your lungs. You can do this by using your diaphragm to help pull air in and push it out. <sighs> Lastly, just getting up and moving will improve your lung function. You can incorporate techniques to focus on your breath while moving such as breathing in while you go from sitting down to standing and breathing out while you go from standing to sitting. Not only will this exercise help to improve your awareness of breathing during activity, but it will also help to strengthen your legs in the process. The ability to breathe is essential to life. If at any time, either in your recovery for COVID-19 or when dealing with a chronic pulmonary disease, you experience any of these emergency warning signs, Seek immediate medical care by calling 911. These symptoms include trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new confusion, an inability to wake or stay awake, and bluish lips or face. 
We hope you find this information helpful. Feel free to visit our website to learn more. And thanks for letting us help you to be well. Thank you.